Hey guys, what's up? It's Greg Trusvasti with the Deepest Dream YouTube channel. Here's my review of Do Revenge. It's a new film on Netflix starring Camila Mendez and Maya Hawke. It's a very simple plotline. It centers on two women from pretty much who seem to have different motivations and they each have a, and I was going to say cross to bear, they basically have a bone to pick. And they want to actually even the score with some of the bullies that have made their respective lives miserable. But instead of actually exacting revenge by themselves or on their own, like a one-to-one, -one, mano y mano kind of situation, they decide to trade revenge situations. And one will do one will do revenge A, the other person will, will be doing revenge B. So Drea, played by Camila Mendes, Drea is the queen of high school. She is the big social B queen. And until due to, I, I'm, I'm not very good with social media, due to some kind of sexting situation, she's, she texted her boyfriend a very intimate video of her, just a, what I'm assuming people in love do. And what happens is her, her now ex-boyfriend, played by Austin Abrams, presumably leaks the video. And what happens is, even though he, he remains unscathed, his, his social reputation is fine, Drea is now, goes from the top of the ladder to becoming a pariah in her school and she is pretty much the outcast and the, her friends aren't really much her friends anymore. The school year ends and throughout the summer, we're assuming that Drea spends a lot of the summer alone, almost all alone, right? But there is a new woman in her life, a new friend in her life, and that is Eleanor, played by Maya Hawk. Now, Eleanor, she is not a veteran of the high school. She will be a new, a new student coming to the fall. So essentially, Drea and Eleanor are strangers and Eleanor ingratiates herself into Drea's life. They become friends during the summer and they hatch up a plan where they will each work together. They will team up to seek exact revenge on the people who have wronged them in the past. For Drea, it's her ex-boyfriend and her fellow, for her former friends, her former girlfriends, and she wants to exact vengeance on them. And for Eleanor, there is this young girl, this other girl in the class who go to the school who supposedly bullied her when she was a young kid as well. So they want to do revenge. They want to do each other's revenge. And hopefully no one is, no one will catch their tracks. Well, because their motivations are completely crossed over. Okay. So that's an interesting element. Also, the director and co-writer is Jennifer Caton Robinson. And I have to give her a lot of credit because this movie is partly inspired by the Alfred Hitchcock classic, Strangers on a Train. And there's a nice little homage regard a part of the, the movie sets uh, one scene in the movie or a couple of scenes in the movies is set in a tennis court Ten that's really cool because there is a tennis there's a tennis sequence in strangers on a train which is very iconic a lot of people talk about alfred hitchcock's you know, maybe the ending of vertigo or the uh, really interesting visual sequences of vertigo or maybe the ending of Psycho, the shower scene. There's a lot of iconic, the Mount Rushmore sequence in North by Northwest, but a lot of one scene that is very underrated, in my opinion, is the tennis match sequence in Strangers on a Train. Go on YouTube, just put tennis match and Strangers on a Train, and you'll see how in black and white, it's still a very chilling moment. And it's one of the most, in my opinion, it's one of the most iconic Alfred Hitchcock moments and underrated moments as well. They don't actually parrot that sequence for Do Revenge, but the fact that it's actually set, part of it is set in a tennis country club. It's a nice little nod to that Hitchcock classic, Strangers on a Train. But that said, though it does have a touch of Hitchcockian flair, most of it is an homage to teenage movies from yesteryear, like maybe 10 Things I Hate About You or Clueless. If you're a fan of those movies, she um, what she's all that. If you're a fan of those movies, you're going to be a fan of Do Revenge as well. So think of it as a, a spoof, not a complete spoof, but a loving, what, a loving comedic take on those movies, uh, an homage to those movies of yesteryear with a little bit of an Alfred Hitchcock flavor to it. The movie also stars Talia Ryder. Yeah, I guess the aforementioned Austin Abrams. The ensemble is fine, but really the movie's success hinges on the actual relationship and the chemistry between Camila Mendez and Maya Hawk, and they have it. They are really good together. The The story, what, what makes it really cool is you get to follow both of their journeys throughout the narrative. My only complaint is maybe towards the end, it got a little bit too stretched out. I, I just felt it would... It, it was a little bit slow at times, but ultimately it worked due to the chemistry between Mendez and Hawk. Also, Talia Ryder is who plays, who, ha who has a minor role. Not, not really a minor role. She has a supporting role in this movie. She plays a girl who catches the eye of Eleanor. Eleanor is has her eyes on Talia Ryder's character. And actually, that 
subplot is one of the most interesting things about this movie and I wish actually that they explored that relationship a little bit more because I love Tali Ryder's work and I love how Tali Ryder and Maya Hawk work together as a in their respective scenes would love to see them in a future movie down the road because they feel very organic they could they could make some kind of duo as well that's not to take away from the situation with Camila Mendez because what's really cool about this movie is both characters both Dre and Eleanor are really night and day when it comes to their characteristics and you get to see their differences play out through the tale so overall I felt do revenge production design was top-notch because and a lot of the colors were popping this is set in Miami it's very the colors I are vibrant it's not a black and white Hitchcock movie it also feels like a teen film from yesteryear and I being a Gen Xer I love mo- movies that actually pay homage to those films as well and this film also has its level of singular uniqueness regarding not just the casting but the way the movie is framed as a strangers on a train type of hook which i really appreciate so overall this is a solid recommend for me i would give do revenge three and a half stars really enjoyed both leads in this movie as well as tally Ryder. can't wait to see more of her work i believe she has another netflix film that is actually in the library i have to check that one out as well would love to hear what you think regarding to revenge did it work for you did you feel it was a misfire leave your comments below regarding your thoughts on this movie again it hits netflix on friday september 16th hopefully you enjoy do revenge again three and a half stars for me and like and subscribe to this channel and thank you so much for watching this vid and review take care guys bye